He walked into the store armed with the handgun. The clerk did exactly what he was told to do, put his hands up, gave the money, and as the suspect was about to leave, he took a couple steps backwards and fired off around and shot the clerk. So now we have a suspect out there who is armed, who shot two clerks in two days at two different stores. So we're working with the Tacoma robbery detectives and our detectives are here now doing everything we can to get this guy identified. That's why we're releasing the photos as quick as we possibly can. Um, unfortunately, he's got a ski mask on, so we're gonna need somebody to try and recognize his clothing, his shoes, some of the minute detail, the way he walks, or something that might be able to give us some information. Well, one of the things that we teach is when you're a victim of a robbery, and somebody's got a weapon, you give them the money. You don't chase them. And in this particular case, the guy did everything right. He put his hands up, gave him the money, didn't confront him. But the suspect, just for sport, for lack of a better term, shot him anyways. Unwarranted violence. There was no reason for this to happen. We're not asking people to stay in their homes anymore. Um, but be vigilant and be aware of what's going on around you in case you see somebody that matches this description. Uh, where the other robbery took place in Tacoma isn't too far away from here. It's a pretty good distance as a car, but we're still within proximity of the same area. Well, right now we're telling other convenience stores and people to have two people in the store, be on the lookout, um, practice what you need to do in your security protocols, because two in two days is something that um, doesn't usually happen, let alone unwarranted shooting. So we want to make sure they're vigilant and other store clerks are aware that this has happened, so we're making sure that occurs.